It has been a difficult year for the Mooresville Police Department. They've been investigated. There have been claims of racial tensions, and the chief was put on leave and then resigned yesterday. Well, this man has been tasked with fixing the department's issues during that critical time. Yes, but he told Channel 9 Susanna Black that he is scheduled to leave soon, too. Have you had an experience like these months with Mooresville's police department? I have not. Interim Chief Ron Capricciani really says for not. the most and part, it's it been a good one, despite the firestorm he came into six months ago. Let's see what things need to be changed. Capricciani took forward. over in June after the town put Chief Damon Williams on administrative leave and launched an investigation following claims of a hostile workplace. Did you see problems within the department? I saw... Uh, the first thing I noticed w was the officers and the staff here was still grieving. Grieving the loss of canine officer Jordan Sheldon, shot and killed during a traffic stop on May 4th. The chief says he knew so that was the first thing he had to help his new department through. I don't. When I get more into policies and finding out how you do the daily things, then I saw some glaring sort of issues. He says like officers sent alone to calls with no backup and a hierarchy within the department that gave a few at the top too much power. So he removed several of those positions. He also demoted two two high-ranking staffers to the rank of police officer. You know, I can say that those are a direct result of what we found in the ISS investigation. For transparency's sake, do you think it should be released to the public? Well, I haven't seen the whole thing. But you're saying that um, not even you have full access to the report. I haven't seen the, I have not seen the report and its whole, no. And when we followed up on other claims that have been made, like racial tensions and, within um, the department. And I don't know what played out before. Um, but I can tell you that's not the case since I've been here. He says out of five new officers he's hired, two are minorities, along with a minority investigator and canine officer. These officers do a great job. In all, he says he's proud of what's been accomplished during his stay that's set to end in just four weeks. Susanna Black, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Now, town officials told us they cannot comment on the process to find a permanent chief.